YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm doing something pretty different for my channel. I've never done anything like this before, but today I'm going to do a wardrobe tour and organization video. If you all like this and want to see more videos like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave that in a comment below so that I know that you're interested in more fashion type videos. What prompted me to film this video today was that I just sort of reorganized and reworked my closet for spring summer since we're just a few days out from spring. I thought I would go ahead and move everything around, move all of my brighter colors to the forefront of my closet and kind of push away some of the darker, more dull colors that I have been wearing for fall and winter. And I thought now would be a good time to film a video like this because it is all kind of organized and streamlined and everything is sort of in its place. So what you're looking at now is the top rack in my closet. This is my kind of casual wear tops. Everything on the left is sort of my winter and fall kind of things. You'll see more plaid shirts over here in more of like the navy and dark green, dark red kind of color wave. And then it'll transition into white and then a rainbow of colors starting with red, then pink, orange, green, turquoise, blue, purple, and I've got one tan shirt at the very back. Most of the shirts that you're seeing here are from J. Crew or J. Crew Factory. They just make a perfect shirt that fits my body perfectly. Um, I sort of figured that out when I was in high school and I've just been collecting them ever since. What you'll see on the bottom row of my closet on the left are my work clothes and my formal attire. So I've got a few suits down here, blazers, pressed button downs, slacks, and then a bunch of black clothing that I have to wear to work. To the right of all that, you'll see my laundry basket, which luckily for you is empty right now. It is usually full and overflowing. I'm the worst at doing laundry. And after the laundry basket, you will see a couple of coats and scarves. I haven't moved these to my coat closet in the hallway yet because it still is a little bit chilly and you never know at this time of year what you're gonna need. My closet is actually a walk-through closet, so there are shelves behind this wall behind me. And then through this door, I keep all of my lighting and camera equipment and a few costume pieces from previous Halloween costumes. On the shelves behind me are where I keep all of my shoes, my bag, my jeans, shorts, sweaters, and kind of out of season clothes. On the top row, I keep all of my black shoes, which are mostly work appropriate, and some of my more dressy shoes. My key favorites up here are going to be my Birkenstocks. And then on the next row, I keep my Sperry's, a few pair of light colored slip-ons, sort of my grab and go shoes for spring and summer. And to the right of that, I have all of my ties. This box is full of bow ties and straight ties. I collect ties. I absolutely love them and I never end up wearing any of them. I more or less just like to look at this tray. Beneath that I have a stack of jeans. You'll notice that all four a pair of these jeans came from Hollister. Again, sort of like the J. Crew shirts, I found a pair and style of jeans that fit me really well and I went with it and I just grabbed it in all of the colors. Next to that I've got two stacks of shorts. One are my bright colored and patterned shorts and the other is more of my neutral shorts. This is mostly navy and tan. You may have noticed that I really like to organize by color, sort of like I did with my shirts where they went in rainbow order. I've done the same with the stack of these shorts and with a stack of sweaters that I have on the right here. They go from red all the way down to purple, sort of stacked in rainbow order. So on the next row, it's pretty bare. I just have a stack of casual pants that aren't blue jeans. I've got a pair of black jeans, white jeans, green jeans, and a pair of chinos and a pair of reddish orangish chinos and then to the right of that I've got my bags. I've got my big coach bag. I don't use it too often. I just use it to tote around my laptop when I am traveling and then I've got a little um, wallet type bag from a brand called Folly Folly. So on the bottom row of my closet you'll see all my shoes and clothes that I don't tend to reach for all that often especially during the spring season. I have a bunch of boots down there. I've got fall boots and I've got a pair of snow boots. You will see my gym shoes down there which I probably should move to a higher shelf. I also have a really old pair of chucks down there and then a huge stack of sweaters that aren't appropriate for spring or summer. And that is my wardrobe tour as well as sort of an overview of how I organize all of my things. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more fashion type videos in the future, maybe a key wardrobe pieces video or a spring or summer styling video, go ahead and leave that in a comment below because I would love to do more fashion type videos for you all. While you're down there, go ahead and open up the description box. A lot of the clothing that I talked about today is no longer available because I've had many of these pieces for years, but I do know that the shirt I'm wearing as well as the pants and some of these shoes that I have are still available. So I'll put as many links as I can find in the description box for you so that you can kind of check them out. While you're in my description box, make sure you check out the links to my social media. You can check out my Facebook page. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of those things are at John John Talks, and I will see you all next time. Bye. I'm grabbing the lightest frosted shade from the Full Exposure palette and just putting that right in the actual...